They might be in a weird situation where your credit card is just not working within Google Pay. So maybe this means you are trying to go through and actually use your actual credit card within Google Pay. You're trying to set it up, but for some reason, it's just not working. Now, the first thing I'd recommend doing is making sure you've inputted all of your specific direct credentials of your specific credit card into Google Pay and make sure that everything is 100% right. If your credentials are not right, meaning your credit card, your number, your everything, if it's not right, you are not going to be able to go ahead and get this working. So make sure everything is set up completely properly right there. Because again, if it's not, that's going to be basically the main issue that you're going to be having. So make sure that is the case, because if that is not the case, well, then that's pretty much going to be the issue. So make sure you've been put all your information properly, and that can pretty much help fix a lot of that issues. Now, another thing is within the Google Play application, you may want to go ahead and make your way over to their App Store page and essentially update the application. That can be another thing that can cause some issues too. If you have a very outdated version of your you know, Google Pay you know, application, and let's say there's some new credit card stuff that they've inputted that's no longer available on the older versions, go ahead and update your application, and that could potentially fix the problem too. And I think for a lot of people, that's probably going to be it. Now, if that's still not working, you may just want to go ahead and make sure if it's a new credit card that you got, Make sure that, again, you've activated it. Everything is good there because, again, if it isn't, that's probably going to be the reason why that's not working. Now, another thing is you may have a very outdated version of Android on your phone. So what you can do is you can make your way over to your Android settings like this. And if there's a software update available just like here, you want to scroll down. Or you can click on software update and you can download and install the latest update available for your phone. And chances are this may end up fixing the problem too. Again, it's not a guarantee. But this is something that can end up fixing the problem for a lot of people and they may end up fixing the problem for you too. So those are pretty much the main ways to do it for the most part. Again, you can try restarting your phone and doing things like that. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.